We've all heard about acids, but today we're going to learn about their opposite bases too. Acids typically taste sour, and bases taste bitter. Acids burn and itch when you touch them, and bases typically feel slimy and slippery. Um, in another video, you're going to see some testing to figure out which things are acids and bases, but for now we're just going to learn how they behave. So when we take an acid like hydrochloric acid and place it in water, check this out, all of the hydrogens detach and they form these free hydrogen ions that float about in this solution. Um, and that is the thing that is dangerous about acids. Bases, on the other hand, are a different type of chemical. And when we place them in the water, they are going to release a totally different thing. So here we have some sodium hydroxides. When we place them in the water, the sodium detaches from the hydroxide and it releases these free OH ions called hydroxides. So the more free hydrogen ions that you have in a solution, the stronger the acid, and the more free hydroxide that you have, the stronger the base. We measure how strong an acid and a base is on a scale called the pH scale. It goes from zero to 14 with neutral in the middle. Bases are numbers higher than seven, acids are numbers lower than seven. The weaker bases are closer to seven and the farther away you get from seven, the stronger it is. And the same thing with the acids, the farther away you get from seven, the stronger it is. That's because at seven, the number of hydrogens and the number of hydroxides are equal to each other. And so then as we start moving away from seven, the number of uh, hydroxides start to increase in relationship to the hydrogens as you move up the scale for the bases. And as we move the other way and the acids get stronger, the number of hydrogens start to outweigh the number of hydroxides. So the more hydrogens that you have in a solution compared to the hydroxides, the stronger the acid. The more hydroxides that you have compared to hydrogens, the stronger the base, right? So that's essentially what's going on with acid and base solutions. Now, a six doesn't just have one more hydrogen, it actually has 10 more, 10 times the number of hydrogens. So every step that we move away from seven, it gets 10 times stronger. So three is actually 10,000 times more hydroxides than seven, which is pretty intense. So these chemicals, as we get farther and farther away from seven, get stronger and stronger and more and more dangerous to the point that if you have something that has a pH of zero, then it has 10 million more free hydrogen ions in comparison to something that would be neutral seven. The same thing happens with the base side. The farther away that we get from seven, every step on the scale, every number moves 10 times, 10 times, 10 times. And so you wind up with a 14 having 10 million times more hydroxide ions than water. So what are some substances? Coffee has a pH of like four or five. Soap has a pH of like eight, nine. Lemon is like around a three. And ammonia is somewhere at 10, 11. And so how do we know if something is an acid or a base? Do we drink it? No. Do we touch it? No, of course not. So we have these things called indicators that help us identify the pH of substances by undergoing color change chemical reactions to tell us whether something is an acid or a base. Litmus paper comes in red and blue. And so if we take both colors and dip them into an acid, the red stays red and the blue turns red, we get an acid. If we dip both of them in and they stay the same color, they're neutral. And if we dip both of them in and the red turns blue and the blue stays blue, it's a base. But they can only tell us whether something is an acid or a base, not how strong it is. So there's other chemical indicators that then once we know if something is an acid or if something is a base can give us an idea of how strong. Like fennel red tells us if something is pH six to nine. And so it ranges from yellow to a dark magenta, but it cannot tell us if something is higher than nine or lower than six. So if we were to get one of those readings, we would go to a different chemical to get a better idea. Bromophenol blue um, tells us three to five. And so again, we could see from yellow to kind of a dark violet, whether something was in that range, but if it was super yellow or super purple, we would have to get a different indicator. So which is more dangerous comes down to um, how far away it is from seven. So if we were to compare like a six and a 12, 12 is farther away, so it's more dangerous. If we were to compare an acid of three and a base of nine, well then the acid of three is farther away, so it's more dangerous. And how about these guys? Well, they're both 
six steps away from neutral, so they're both the same level of danger. But keep in mind that substances behave and interact with different substances differently, and so just because something has a pH that's really far one way or the other isn't the only thing that would potentially make it a concerning substance to be dealing with.